Istanbul, it's a gloriously picturesque city in Turkey. It sits between Europe and Asia. It's a mega city with a dauntingly rich past, but it also has a wonderful, colourful 21st century edge as well. You can see the signs of when it was the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, when it was the capital of the Ottoman Empire. The people, they're very welcoming. It makes it a great city to visit. The minarets are high above the Bosphorus, which links the Mediterranean and the Sea of Marmara with the Black Sea, so it's an important waterway. And off it runs the Golden Horn, the old port area of the ancient city. Now it's the home of the ferries. The old tram runs down Istiklal, a 19th century street, which is full of boutiques and food. Turks love their food. You can even pick up pickles back on the wharf. And then as you hop on a cruise in the afternoon, you venture down the Bosphorus towards the first great bridge, past palaces, past beautiful wooden houses of the 19th century, upmarket areas. This is a city that has a lot of riches as well as, as, well as a lot of colour. The great castle of Mehmet II, he's the bloke behind the fall of Constantinople when, in a sense, the Renaissance began in the rest of Europe as the Greek scholars fled. Now it's, of course, very much a centre of Islam because of the Ottoman Empire. As you get back to the centre of the city, under the view of the Sultan's palace, time for something to eat. Deliciously sweet donuts in honey. Then on the tram to one of the most historic sections, particularly the Hagia Sophia, one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever had the pleasure to be in. It was, for a thousand years, the biggest cathedral in all of the world. And then in 1453, with the fall of Constantinople, it became a mosque for another 500 years, and now it's a museum. A truly spiritual, beautiful building. We were captivated by it. A short walk to the Blue Mosque, one of the great landmarks. The kids come from all over Turkey, people come from all over the world to see the blue tiles within and to sense this mosque, which is still a working mosque today, a truly quiet and beautiful building again. Out and back into the city and hey, something to eat. There are shops like this all through the centre and cats too. And they're all amazingly healthy. They seem to be community cats, but people look after them. These cats even have their own motorbike, personally named. Then the Grand Bazaar, one of the great features of old Istanbul. Literally thousands of shops within a maze of streets and alleyways and all of the riches that you'd ever hope for to shop with. You've got to buy a carpet. You have to buy a rug when you're in Istanbul. An ancient water fountain in the middle of the bazaar still used to clean the cups. If you're going to buy something from a shopkeeper, you're going to have a cup of tea with him. Not far away, the Spice Bazaar. And again, the colours, the smells, the photographic opportunities. Istanbul on the Bosphorus, bridging Europe and Asia. We definitely want to visit again and soon. It is truly a great city of the world.